Um, hi, my name is Kayla Wright, and I am 16 years old, and I go to Inspire. Um, I'm doing like um, spot ops, so I'm doing the lights, like shining the spotlight on everybody during the show. Um, and I'm doing costumes before the show, and I'm helping with a lot of hair and makeup stuff backstage before the show and before the entire run through and everything is happening. Cool. So yeah. just a lot of behind the scenes action. Yeah. Awesome. Pretty and um, you live in paradise, correct? Yes, I did live in paradise. Did okay. Did. Could you just tell me a little bit about? Um, the yeah. So I yeah. So I lived in paradise. So commuting was always kind of rough, do especially doing shows and everything. Commuting. Can you just explain? Um, getting to and from school and home every day and every night. How after long your, just, just sorry because no, yeah not yeah. like I don't know anything just tell me about oh okay <laughs> so um, living in paradise it's about a 45 minute drive if there's traffic 35 if there's no traffic and so leaving the theater at 11 o'clock at night or 10 o'clock at night it's very hard getting back home with a good amount of time to do schoolwork and do other things like that so that was always kind of rough but um, I remember uh, what Thursday morning I remember driving to school and I didn't think anything of it because living on the ridge, we oftentimes see smoke and we oftentimes have fires around us and we never really think about it that much. In fact, we've actually, we have family friends that we oftentimes will barbecue and watch the smoke travel and move and everything like that. So it was never really a big deal to me, but um, I was driving down the road to school and everything and I started to see a lot more smoke and it was kind of getting darker smoke, not just your light smoke that just is. Um, grass burning or something like that, but it was becoming black, which means like the structures burning and so I kind of got started to get concerned about it and then by the time I got to school the entire sky was black, which was very um, nervous and very like nerve-wracking for me and I asked Lisa our office one of our office staffs about it and she said that it was in Concow and it was moving towards paradise, which was very concerning and very worrisome for me since I live in paradise and so I looked on the um, website and it said that the evacuations were for my house. So I called my parents and they told me that they were um, evacuating. And my parents aren't typically ones to, you know, evacuate whenever because we're used to the fires. But so that was like really kind of made things more real because I knew that if they were evacuating, they knew that it was something that we should actually be worried about. So, and then I think it took about 30 to 45 minutes for the entire town to be evacuated and for the fire to be sparking, um, like sparks to be flying into paradise and to be starting fires in paradise, which was super unreal and is still pretty unreal for me. Like just watching videos of people driving through flames, driving on flames on the roads that I've like, I've seen the roads, I know the roads. It's just so unreal for me, so yeah. yeah. And so what's your current situation now? Um, well, we are now, my entire family is together. We are living with a family friend that we've known like 10 plus years and so we're staying with them in Chico um, that night we actually got evacuated from their house too because they're on the border of Paradise and Chico almost so we actually got evacuated from their house and had to come here and we stayed the night here right behind the studio um, sleeping on tumbling mats in their office <laughs> so that was that was kind of funny and Nick's your brother too, yes right? Nick, so you guys yes. are both yeah we were both here with our parents and our family friends we were all here it was kind of fun, you know, kind of like a slumber party at first, but now it's kind of becoming less like a slumber party and more like real life, you know? So that's kind of, it's kind of weird. And Cinderella's still happening, right? Um, yeah. That was, it's kind of nice almost because we get to get away from the fires and get away from all of these posts about like, oh, all this fire is happening. Oh, well, all this stuff is going crazy. It's like, almost like a, um, like, it's like a border for us, like we get to just block out everything related to the real world and related to the fire and related to paradise and we can just come here and like have a good time, mess around with our friends, like watch beautiful ballet, like it's just, it's, it's nice because we get a break from all this tragedy. So that's really nice for, at least for me, I don't know about other people but I like it, I think it's better. And we almost, um, they were almost talking about postponing the show and we had to postpone, um, one of our school inspires we had to postpone our dance showcase because it was that night and that was obviously for the best but um it's definitely nice to have something to escape the fire but 
but still at the studio, I'm kind of seeing behind me and around me, there's just a little bit of, well, can you explain what all this is? Yeah. You're escaping from the fire, but also. <laughs> but we're also kind of um, helping with the fire, like getting more involved with the fire. So we actually, one of the um, ballet studios in Chico, or sorry, no, one of the ballet studios in Paradise burned down actually. And so uh, some of their dancers are in Cinderella. And so, um, Chico Creek and Full Force decided to put on a little clothing drive and um, getting stuff for everybody. We have a bunch of toiletries, we have like dance wear, we have so much stuff that we're just like gathering from all over, the, all over this country basically. And um, we're also doing a Venmo, which we'll be sending money to. And so it's just really nice. Like, yes, we're getting away from it, but we're also kind of you know, getting more involved with it, you know, because like, but we're getting involved in a good way, not in like a tragedy, like, oh, this is so sad. It's more of a, here, we're gonna help you out because we know it's hard for you guys. So that's nice. And we get to hang out with like, it's nice being here with everybody, but it's even nicer being here with the pe other people from Paradise who have also gone through this and like seeing people coming through and getting stuff from the Paradise studio, because I know a lot of those girls and, um, it's just, it's really nice to be able to see people and have like a community coming here and having two communities joining together because they're even doing, um, Chico Creek is even hosting classes for the studio that burned down. They're letting them do their classes here in the other studio. And so it's just really nice to see like a community, two communities um, joining in this tragic event. So, yeah. Amazing. I mean, is there any last words that you want to say or if, give advice to anyone else dealing with the situation because you're it seems like you're coping really well and you super put together <laughs> in here and sharing your story articulately um it's I, I don't really know if i'm put together but um it's definitely i think it's more of just it hasn't really hit me as much as it has hit other people because i've kept so busy and i've like right off the bat since the moment it happened i've been super busy i've been working and i've been um putting together costumes and hair pieces and head pieces and wigs and you know doing all this stuff and it's just keeping my mind off of it which is really helpful for me that maybe not best for everybody but it's been really helpful for me and for other people that I've talked to that are also doing the show um I don't know keep keep busy that's what I'm doing it's it's honestly like been really good for me and my like I'm waiting to be able to go back to school because like that's my escape from everything you know so it's kind of hard not being at school right now and not having an idea when we're going to be back at school, but um, it's also nice to kind of get a break from school and everything. But keeping busy is always good for me. So. Thank you so much, Kayla. Yeah, of course. For your time.